Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Wiz social networking app. So we'll be giving you a tutorial on how to use it for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do here is you need to open up the Wiz app and you need to sign in into your account. Now, by the way, if you haven't created your account, creating your account is pretty easy. You can just go ahead and just click on the sign in with Google option here and just proceed with filling out your details as well as verifying your age. Now, just to give an idea here, uh, the Wiz app is made for teenagers. So typically the, their age range for it is going to be around 13 years old to uh, young adults. So meaning if you don't fit a certain an age group they might not able to create your account and in this case you might need to wait for a few months or a few days before you will be able to start using it because they first need to gather your crowd or the age or the age group for your specific age but in this case we are already logged in into our account so what are the things that we could do here so there are three options for our account here or in the US app so we have three methods or three main tabs here first is going to be the messages tab Tab. So the messages tab, you have the option to view your friends, your uh, friend requests, your chats. So in this case, once we actually click on the friend request option at the uh, top uh, top right here next to friends, you should be able to see the friend request that you've received. Now, if you've sent request, friend requests somewhere, you should also be able to see them via the requests you sent at the top section there. Now, in this case, if you want to uh, start receiving or start or uh, accept one of the chat requests, you can go and go to the chat and just start chatting uh, whatever topic they want, and you should be able to accept that. Now, in this case, uh, as you can see, this is going to be the chat request sent. And again, if you if you send chats out there you, uh, or chat requests, this is where you'll be able to see them. Now, going back, we have our chat uh, page again. So at the top right, you have the eye icon. So whenever you click on it, it should uh, redirect you to this page here. It's going to say who's secretly viewing your pics. So in this case, you could actually find out who are the people who's viewing your profile and your pics on uh, your on the US app here. But there are going to be some prices that you need to pay here in order for you to know that. So going back again, you should be able to have the Thunderbolt icon at the top right of your screen. Now, through that, you have the option to basically skip the line. So in this case, this actually uh, gives or boosts your profile to be the number one profile. And if you are or if your profile is one of the top profiles out there, you will get more chats. So meaning more chances of making friends and interacting with different people. Now, in this case, you could choose whatever boost that you have here, either boost one, two, or three here. And you could also get the Wiz Gold here if you want to, which gives you one free boost every week. Then, then again, uh, this a uh, boost requires you to pay a certain amount for you to utilize them. Now, in this case, going back into our chats, we have the three dotted icon. So when you click on, it, on that, you have two options. You have the trash and search. Now, in this case, you could actually delete messages by pressing hold on them and using to delete them, or uh, in this case, uh, re uh, putting them in your trash. In this case, when you go to your trash, you should be able to basically see them in here if you want to recover them. And yeah, so if you want to actually delete them, you could go ahead and just press and hold on them again, and you should be able to permanently delete them, meaning you won't be able to reco recover them if you delete them, delete them in the trash section here. Now, if you choose the search, you have the capabilities of searching for profiles on the platform itself. Now, in this case, you can enter their username here, but you also have the option to invite friends if you want to. So if you click on the invite friends option, it's going to give you give, give you different options, like for example, inviting friends in Snapchat and Chrome or even in Instagram or Facebook. So they could just access the link itself and they will be able to see your profile. Now, going back into our main UI here, we have the very center or the cards that has a plus button on it. That is going to be the section for viewing stories of different profiles. So in this case, you can either swipe, swipe left or swipe right if you want to view different uh, profiles in here. Now, the great thing about this one is you could also start chatting with them if you want to. Just click on the send a chat option there and you should be able to start chatting with them if, you, uh, if they actually accept that. 
Now, going back, we have the profile icon at the bottom right of your screen. So whenever you click on it, you now have the option to view your profile. So for example, if you want to change your profile information, uh, if you want to verify your profile, even share them or adding your bio or even adding different photos if you want to. And if you have shops here, you should be able to also see them in here. But yeah, so those are the basics here on how to use the Wiz social networking app. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.